Okay, so last of my fall harvest. Just redoing the garden. Well, no, there's more to come, sorry. This is the last of the summer and spring harvest. The garlic is blooming so well. I'm so excited about this gardening season. My carrot tops look amazing. All of the peppers and tomatoes I grew look so beautiful. I am so excited to prepare for the winter and fall. But these are all the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful peppers I grew this year. And if you didn't know, these little pods actually contain the seeds for next year. So this is a bok choy plant and at the top there are seeds. And same with my radishes and a few other fruits and vegetables. And I'll go into more detail in another video so you guys can actually see what that looks like. But this is, you know, every plant contains seeds from our bean plants to our peppers. They all contain seeds so we can regrow our food every single year from my pea plant, which is the cutest little thing on the planet. This cute little pea contains seeds so I can grow more food for next year. And what I do is I keep them and dry them out, but we're going to actually be removing all of the plants that no longer have any love in them. We're going to replenish the soil and we're going to compost everything. But these were the, the tomatoes we wind up picking out of the garden. And we have our bok choy and those beautiful seeds I just explained to you guys about. And this is my winter garden. And look at this dirt. It's just so beautiful and nourished and moist from the rain. I know people don't like the word moist. <laughs> but it's just so filled with life and love. And while digging, I found a green onion or an onion scallion um, that I can use. So I found this one and I also found the baby one. So I'm just, you know, folding it in, making sure the bottom, there's nothing stuck at the bottom. There's no big roots in here. There's no fungus or anything. There's things you have to look for when saving your soil. So that was like super important to me when I was replenishing my soil. We saved so much soil. And as you guys can see, there's the other little green onion I wind up finding. Super duper cute. Look at how cute that thing is. And then yeah, that is the <laughs> green pepper plant um, or the pepper plant. And we're just going to speed up so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm moving fast, doing our thing getting everything done, sweeping, getting the tomatoes done, just making sure everything is done for the next season so we have everything together. And it has been a beautiful experience growing my own food, but also the idea of the self-sufficiency. So not having to always buy seeds, knowing how to replenish them. So yeah, this is the beautiful pepper plant um, we cut that one down because it's no longer in season and we're just you know replenishing the soil and we're gonna actually gonna put another plant in here so we're gonna re-transplant a lot of these plants because cabbage and collard greens need more space and we're gonna transplant them we're also gonna transplant our kale so as you can see this is gonna be our compost and then we have these plants, I'm gonna let them go and see what happens to them. I don't know exactly what this is as of yet, but we're gonna see what happens to it. And there's something in there already. So I'm just gonna let them go. As you can see, there looks like it's a tamale. So we're gonna do that. Bring you guys out really quick. And then this is the garden now, guys. So we have our bok choy plant there. And you can see the seed pods are actually changing color. So when they change color, they're ready to be picked. Um, we have our beautiful layout of our garden. It's still pretty full. We got rid of about five or six things, but it looks amazing. I'm very proud of it. We found some mini bok choy plants. I wanted to planting in here because they're all similar and they grow very well next to other greens. Um, 
So from the front to the back, we have our onions growing in, our lettuce here. Then we also have our cabbage, arugula, and um, this is some kale. And in the front here, we have our collards. And then we have our carrots, garlic. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a, it's an Asian cabbage style thing. I don't know what it's called. I'll put the name in the down below. And then we have our other goods over there. Um, everything is growing well. Now I'm gonna show you guys in the next video how to grow your own garlic from a garlic peel. It's super it's from a garlic. I'm gonna show you how to grow garlic. <laughs> so please stay tuned for the next video. But yeah, this is my garden. Remember those greens that keep growing every time. So you can see that. But yeah, everything's doing so well. I'm gonna give you guys a close-up view really quick. This is what the garden looks like. I know some people say I move too fast, so I'm going really slow. So the garlics, let me go back a little bit so you can see the full thing. This is the garlic. The next to that's the carrot. Now my favorite thing about these, the garlic will be ready pretty soon, but the carrot, look at that, the carrot tops are so beautiful. You can go in to check and see when the carrot starts to pop out, they're ready. Yeah, I did do a lot of research on this stuff. Yeah, and then you can see the potatoes actually growing. I put topsoil on both of them. So as they grow, you add soil to them. All I did was buy organic um, tomato potatoes from the store, let the seeds grow a little bit and put those in dirt. They have to add compost and sand to it. Works perfectly for it. Um, same thing when you're growing garlic, it likes sand soil and compost a nice even ratio I think more compost 15% um, sand and the rest uh, the other thing I just mentioned but yeah look at this fall stuff so yeah guys that is my garden right now these things keep growing in they're beautiful and yeah so that's it we got some peas still growing etc